Jake, was that orange juice you were drinking? Pineapple juice, my dude. Ooh, wow. pimp shit. I'm drinking some vino. <laughs> 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 pineapple juice oh pimp shit <laughs> <laughs> pineapple juice is a classy drink yeah man I mean you gotta do it sometimes you know <laughs> what, are you, uh, what are you drinking some wine Ooh, what kind of vino uh, it's a plush it's from a local winery here in West Virginia I got it at Wine and Jazz Festival I went to a couple weeks ago. Nice. You like a wait, what's a plush? Like a Pinot, Grigio? No, a plush is like somewhere between a white and a red. You see how it's kind of an orange? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you listen to our Paper Girls episode, you'll learn about it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's awesome. Have you have any of you checked out the Paper Girls show yet? No. No. We also we talked to. about that. We want we need someone who listens to the podcast to check out Paper Girls the show and then tell us if it's worth watching. Yeah. That's what we need. Yeah, dude. Uh how you been, bud? I feel like I didn't talk to you in a little while. Dude, I've been good. Just working honestly a lot. Working your butt off. Trying to recover from two vacations in a row. And Pretty uh, much. and COVID. <laughs> And COVID and just, I mean, I've also been like spending a lot. So that's why I've been working more. (laughs) 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 Like I bought myself like a PS5 and I bought it like a nice 75 inch TV. I kind of went like ham. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, dude. I think I'm I'm like, I'm a pimp shit. Exactly. (laughs) I'm hunkering down for the winter. I can't honestly, I'm kind of excited for it to get like a little chillier out. And then, like, it rained a few times and me stay in and do nothing and play video games. Dude, Jake, I hate you for being like, I'm hunkering down for the winter. <laughs> and you live in LA yeah, with like palm trees, you dirty it's, bitch. It's gonna get a brutal 55 degrees out there, you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> But uh, you refuse, You both of you refuse to come back to New York. So, I mean, it's the greatest city in the world. I don't know why you would want to be anywhere fucking else. But, I mean, hey, do what you got to do. Both of you refuse to, like, achieve, achieve greatness and come out to L.A. That's true. Tinseltown. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, I'll be there one day. Come on, man. It's, it's, it's here waiting for you. It's not going to be here forever. The, the earthquake is going to sink it into the ocean. Like, L.A. is on borrow time. Well, maybe I'll just wait it out then and just go to wherever's next. Ooh, so when it does fall into the ocean, you're like the first comedian back in there. Yeah. Built back (laughs) Yeah, because I'll be, I could swim out there. (laughs) Yeah, everyone will die. And like, as civilization in L.A. starts to put itself back together, someone will open a comedy club. You'd be like, oh, all the comedians died. Dude, I'll open up a comedy (laughs) club, call it Water World. (laughs) What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I dig it. There's still a two drink minimum. Yeah, man. Sorry, couldn't change that. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't change that. <laughs> Dims the rules. <laughs> I think we're all just like, is it going to cut out? Is it going to cut out? Yeah, I know. We're paranoid. I hope not. It's been working fine ever since. I haven't done anything to my computer. Dude. That's good. I'll kill you. But what? <laughs> well, should we get into let's, it? Uh, let's cover the business. Yeah. I, I actually thought that was, that was a good segue. You know, you're saying you want to kill Jake. Best friends hunting each other. You know, there's something to that in this, oh, in this little Marvel special Ooh. presentation. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Well, welcome to Comics and Chronic. You already know who it is. Your boy, Jacob Fage. I'm joined by Anthony Inaccio and Cody Wallaka Cannon. We out here, we doing things, we smoking joints, bowls, bongs. After a long awaited hiatus. Yes, this is true. Yeah. We're back in action. We're back in action. And today we are covering the new Marvel Disney Plus show or 
one off, I guess. Werewolf by night. Werewolf by night. <laughs> Werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds more like a dying dog, but <laughs> it's like a little bloodhound. I feel like if I were any of like the old school creatures, I would be a werewolf. I could see that. Werewolves are cool. Werewolves are cool. I've always preferred werewolves over vampires. Yeah, man. I feel like you guys said otherwise in the Philadelphia episode. I'm, we might have to replay the tape. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I feel like you guys were team vampire when we were talking about it in Philadelphia. Now that we're talking about werewolves, suddenly everyone's a fucking werewolf fan. No, I've always like, dude, in Underworld, I would much rather have been a lichen than fucking one of the leather clad vampires. And <laughs> American Werewolf in London is one of my favorite horror movie. movies. Oh, yes. That movie's so good. And American Werewolf in Paris is really good. Too. <laughs> 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 you really have never seen that one. No, yeah, this is a movie came out. In it's not as good, though. It's not as good. Drastically not as good. It's like very 90s, like horror, like teen, teen horror. Drama. Yeah, yeah, it's like, like it's like the smoky kind of same vibes you get from like a species movie or something. Okay. Ooh, dude, species was lit, though. Yeah. Hot. Species is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I loved species only because. I was in third grade and was a hot <laughs> naked girl. <laughs> yeah. And I would totally let an alien fuck the back of my head out with her tongue. Oh, hell yeah. She, she could, she could skull fuck me with her tongue any day. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a good way to go. You know, <laughs> Dude, imagine if she did that to your butthole. Oh, oh God. my God. <laughs> it comes so hard. <laughs> 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 and speaking of coming so hard, this movie. Um, <laughs> it's great. Um, okay, yeah. So the synopsis of the story is it takes place in uh, current Marvel times, but it's the scene is in, it, it's shot in black and white, which is a great touch. That was really cool. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Very much an homage to like the 1940s uh, universal horror mo- movies. Definitely. Oh, yeah. And it's about a group of hunters who get together that are hunting a beast, an unknown beast at the beginning, in order to basically become the head of the hunting clan the bloodstone or, you get the blood yeah stone. you get the bloodstone that's what it is which yeah. what the fuck is the bloodstone anthony i feel like you know what it is yeah the bloodstone is uh i've never heard of it until this thing all right the what's the deal with the bloodstone? <laughs> i don't actually know what the bloodstone is i just know the character elsa bloodstone She's awesome. I'm glad they introduced her. Was that the woman? The, the yeah, daughter? she's she's a monster hunter. Yeah, and she just kicks ass all the time. Like, I, I loved her character, and I thought that's like all right. Well, like immediately, like with this show, movie, whatever it is, I want to see more of all the characters. It was like the kind of thing yeah. where I'm like, okay, wow, like I'll take a I'll take a movie or well, I'll take anything with like the combo of Elsa Bloodstone, Werewolf by Night, and then Man Thing. Like those three characters are like boom, 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 all all lovable. Instantly. What's that guy's um, name? The Werewolf dude. Do they say it? Is his name Jack? His name is Jack. Jack yeah. Russell. Like the terrier. <laughs> is oh. it Jack Russell? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I liked it a lot. It was a refreshing like thing for Marvel to do, especially with the genre. I felt like it was yeah. cool that they went outside of their normal genre for the majority of this one hour special. Like it was like there were parts where I was like, oh, this is cool and like creepy. Like obviously I was never like it's not like scared like hereditary style, but <laughs> I was like, oh, this is cool. Like this is different. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It was different from Marvel, and I know like we've all been complaining about like Ugh, Marvel's being Marvel. So like this was a refreshing. This was like cool. All right, like Marvel Very- has potential to do cool shit and switch it up and not just give us the same formulaic bullshit. Well, oh, did you see who the director was? Yeah, yeah, dude, Michael. G- but however you pronounce it, Jean-Ko? Jean-Kyo? Giacchino, I don't know. Giacchino, Giacchino. composer. Very good yeah, compo- composer. Incredible composer. Yeah. First, the first thing he directed. Yeah. Oh, right. so, and it's so good. And such a breath, like Jake said, breath of fresh air. Yeah. Also, he composed it. 
Oh, that, I, that, that makes total sense, honestly. Yeah. It was a, yeah. yeah. The soundtracks Beautiful. are always great. Yeah. yeah. yeah he, did, he did the Batman. He did Spider-Man uh, yeah. No Way Home. Yeah. He's done like a ton of shit. Yeah. One of, I would argue like probably as far as like soundtrack composers, top 10 easily. Yeah. Easily. Like, easily. I agree. He's definitely no Jock XL. Uh, Junkie no, XL? Jo- Junkie, Junkie XL. XL. Yeah. I mean, no, nobody is. No, nah, no one's better than our boy Junkie. And no one, yeah, no one could beat the combo of Hans Zimmer and Junkie XL. Oh, yeah, that combo. <laughs> <is almost. laughs> it's, it's a powerhouse. <laughs> um, dude, what I also liked was that, like, when they had the close-up shots of him as a werewolf, it was cool that that was like legit prosthetic makeup and not Marvel's usual go-to of CGI. Yeah, I wasn't. Weren't all of the monster things like? I think Man from, Thing was a dude in a costume too. Yeah, I think it was all parts, yeah. practical. That's sick. Man Thing? Are you sure? I'm pretty there sure. There were parts of Man Thing where it was actual dude in a costume. Yeah, it might have just been him like sitting or like. Mm. Maybe even like mocap because for She Hulk, there's a real six foot eight girl that's there yeah who wears yeah. mocap shit. So yeah, um, yeah, it was just like I don't know, yeah, good that it wasn't the normal Marvel shit. Yeah, for sure. But at the same time, and and I don't mean this in a negative way, like it did feel like it fit in the MCU. No, it did yeah, for sure. I, it was almost like the right measured amount of Marvel's touch. Yeah. Uh, should I go ahead and share my biggest beef with it? Oh, yeah. Let's oh, hear yeah. It. Let's hear it. Biggest beef. Why the fuck did the werewolf fight? Like, it was the was the combat. Why did the werewolf fight like every other character in Marvel? It should have fought more like a werewolf. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, for why sure. was he like kicking people? <laughs> I agree. But maybe like the dude himself is a trained combatant and he has such control over his werewolf form that you know but he doesn't because he locks himself in a cage every time yeah i mean he, yeah, he, was, home, yeah. he was doing like home flips girl. and shit and he was, i didn't have too much beef because there were parts where he was clearly just like shredding them and biting their no, ears. that was awesome too i'm not saying it wasn't but I, I'm, I just hated that the werewolf i'm also tired of every woman fighting like natasha yeah, I was thinking that I was like Elsa. Elsa she Bloodstone like does Natasha. fight a lot like Black Widow, but I felt like she could take Black Widow. What? Yeah, I say, I say, I'd rather see her on the Avengers than Black Widow. Blood, Elsa Bloodstone is just a way cooler character, even than the comics. I've like, never what? even heard of her until today. <laughs> until today, <Yeah. laughs> I don't know. I just don't think you go around pretending like Elsa Bloodstone is like one of the top tier known characters. I never said movies. that. <laughs> I never said I, that. I can't be like a oh, classic Elsa Bloodstone. I don't even know who this bitch is. She don't matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first time I read about her is in like one of the Marvel zombie books. Like it's her like going across the wasteland, kind of taking out zombie Avengers or zombie villains. Like and she's on her own trying to get like the bloodstone somewhere probably I don't know but I, she's just I'm I'm saying she's just like a a different character which I like and I like that she's now included in the MCU like she she doesn't have any powers or anything she's not like the man thing or the werewolf you know like she just is like fighting people like Black Widow but she shoots people too that's cool she's got a gun yeah there were some cool weapons honestly and cool deaths yeah a lot of cool deaths all the other hunters dying and shit the guy with the uh, crossbow that was a good one yeah he yeah. got a tan cut off that was yeah. sick I liked when she kills David Bowie <laughs> yeah <I did. laughs> uh, with the sword to the nog yeah the yeah. sword straight to the nog right here dude oh that was brutal yeah exactly oh it was so cool David Bowie <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Fame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, David Bowie. <laughs> I mean, if I had beef with it too, it was that like you know, like the the villain is just was so kind of just like the mom, the the mom, I guess, or the stepmom. I think she was like, yeah, she wasn't the mom, mom. She was definitely like a stepmom. She was character. a stepmom. Yeah, she was talking about what's his, her dad being a good lover in front of her daughter. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see Licorice Pizza? No. No. Oh, she was in Licorice Pizza. I was like, Was she the mom? Oh, the no, mom. No, she has like a very small part. She's like a casting 
agent or something and she's like just uh interviewing uh the character in the movie and she's just like asking her a bunch of questions but uh before i get into it anthony what did you think of licorice pizza it was all right i thought it was a pretty good, cool movie like it's not like it wasn't like the best movie i've ever seen but it was i was like cool all right i, I heard mixed things from everybody some people everybody like it or some people yeah. hate it i yeah. didn't think it was a shitty movie uh by any means but, but not a masterpiece yeah, no, it wasn't a masterpiece. Definitely no. not PTA's best. No, definitely not. And like the best, I thought the best part of the movie, like there's uh, Bradley Cooper plays somebody like Barbara Streisand's husband or something. And he's just so nice. insane. And he like his scenes are the best. Nice. Dude, Bradley Cooper's a good actor. Honestly, I've never hated on Bradley Cooper. Yeah, man. He's a, I give him two thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. I agree. And he's Rocket Raccoon, so that's cool. Yeah. If who would Bradley Cooper play as a real person? As a real what? <laughs> what like in what the Marvel it? universe. Oh, or oh, the oh. DC or the DC universe. Ooh. It, just like what comic book character would you like to see Bradley Cooper play as a human, not as like as voice? Mm. I'm thinking that for being said, he's perfect for Rocket. Yeah, for some reason for DC, I'm thinking of him as Lex Luthor. Like, if you did Jesse Eisenberg, like, let's get Bradley Cooper doing something. Oof. Like, I, I don't I feel know like if I see him being bald. <sighs> no, I would Bradley rather wear a nice head of hair. You he he can't be bald. Yeah, I honestly, I was gonna say maybe Hal Jordan. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah, I could see that actually. That would be a cool Hal Cause, Jordan. Okay, because in Hangover, his character is like you know real smart ass kind of dude. Yeah, Hal Jordan's a shit talker, you know, fighter pilot. Mm. I feel like he could be a pretty good Green Lantern. Absolutely. I could totally see that. Yeah. Okay. What about Marvel? Mm. Who's left? Like, should he be someone that's also in space? That already exists. Like a cosmic character. <laughs> I've got an idea. I had an idea, but he'd have to be an older version of him. I've got two ideas, actually. Okay. okay what were you going to say? Both of them X Men. Uh, mine oh, was X Men. I wonder if we're going to say the same person. I was going to say either Banshee. I, was gonna say. <laughs> I could see that. Or. Pyro. Pyro. Oh, okay. I picture those characters. Well, yeah, I guess it depends. Or Bobby Drake. I was not going to say either. I was going to say like an like, like Cyclops. Cyclops. Ooh. Bradley Cooper is older Cyclops. Scott Summers. Yeah. Mm, interesting. I don't know if I see him as Banshee. Reed Richards. Mm. Yeah, Reed Richards is so plain that pretty much anybody can be him. Yeah. Me. <laughs> yes. Bradley Cooper as Cody can. <laughs> oh, I was saying me as Reed Richards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be the best take of Reed Richards we'll ever see. Yeah. Cody My is laugh. Mr. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> While you're like stretching around people and grabbing them. <laughs> Terrible casting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you see terrible <laughs> casting? <laughs> yeah, I, the guy I that hates Fantastic Four the most is <laughs> yeah, Cody <laughs> Cannon <laughs> as Mr. Fantastic. That's how they win me over. That's Marvel's <laughs> get play. First yeah. they first they cast me as Reed, and then they put me in charge as Cody Feige. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, C- Cody sees five steps ahead. <laughs> 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 Oh. Yeah, werewolf by night. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we haven't really been talking about our topics. <laughs> More like suggestions at this point. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think everything we're doing is just short. Like this is only an hour long and it's only one thing. I, this one hour was stronger than the majority of phase four films and uh, television. Yeah. The In majority of She Hulks. Yeah. No, you're crazy, dude. <laughs> she Hulk is one of the strongest. You like fucking lame ass bitch Bloodstone over She Hulk? Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, you're you're crazy. I think I like it in the sense that it's only an hour, but I love She Hulk. I do too, man. I'm actually really digging the fuck. I think it's funny as shit. It's like well written. Of course, you would think it's funny. No. <laughs> you know what's weird? Because you no. love uh, you love like The Office. This has like Parks and Rec style like Office vibe humor to it. Like it's just that look to the camera. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. 
No. I'm kind of down for it. Yeah. You can be down for it. That's okay. Sorry, I'm just progressive and I'm not like misogynistic. Women can be funny, Anthony. I'm sorry. It yeah. sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I didn't know that and you showed me She Hulk, I wouldn't think otherwise. <laughs> That's Aww. crazy. That's crazy. I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are allowed to think that. That's fine. I'm allowed to not think that. That's cool. I mean, everyone's allowed to be wrong once in a while, I guess. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Majority rules in this consensus. Anyway, Werewolf by Night. I do. I think one of the things that one of its strongest things is that it's only an hour. I think that yeah. is. Yeah. I think that it's not bloated. It makes me wonder how many other characters do you think they could do and benefit from just by doing an hour special? To, just to intro to them. Yeah, a one shot. This is the TV equivalent of a one shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely. And they gave us three characters that I'm sure we're going to see in other things like man thing, especially uh, awesome. Such, yeah, such cool. a cool. What character. a surprise. Yeah. I didn't know he was all up in this. I didn't know anything about this going in. This is like the first MCU thing in a while that I didn't know anything. I didn't see the trailer until a few days before I had, uh, oh, the in the trailer, you get like a really quick flash of man thing. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even watch the trailer. Honestly, not surprised there. Um, Anthony, uh, is the characters is his name in the comics Werewolf by Night? Like, is that what they call is him? That, yeah, is that what they call him? I don't know. I never read a Werewolf by Night comic. Uh, I don't really uh, know. I mean, that's what his comics are. But he's not like it's not like a character that pops up all the time. And if he does, yeah. it's just like I'm doing werewolf stuff. I thought there was going to be some kind of a link between like this and blade at the end. seems like it's, it's in a lady type. Oh universe. yeah. They didn't connect it in any way. Yeah. And uh, I'm assuming I was actually expecting also like a weird connection uh, with black Knight and eternals. Mm, it seems yeah. Like right. Right. The world they're starting to go for now, which will be cool. But yeah. They didn't, they didn't connect it to anything and that's cool. That's fine. Like it that really is, cool. is a standalone thing. Yeah. I mean, another reason I liked it is because again, it's like three, obscure characters that it's like guardians of the galaxy like going into that like you're like who are these people coming out of it you're like cool i want more guardians you know like it's that kind of thing like i want to see more of these characters in other mcu stuff whether it's just a cameo or they're just like you know they do a, a werewolf by night something else or man thing or whatever the fuck like i i think they they sh- they prove to me that just like okay they still have cool ideas in the mcu it's not going to be all like Because like you said, this phase so far has been kind of lackluster, in my opinion, too. Phase four has been lackluster. Yeah, a bunch of stinkers. Yeah, like there's some hits for sure, but there's way more stinkers. Yeah, What? okay, if you could classify, what would be your hits out of phase four? Ooh, Doctor Strange 2. Yes. For sure. I like it, and I liked it when it came out, but I find myself, I've never gone back to watch it. And I'm sure, I don't know, but like Shang-Chi? Shang-Chi, yeah. Shang-Chi was good, but I don't find myself ever being like, I'm going to watch it again. Whereas like, I've watched a few of the other Marvel movies again. Mm -hmm. Um, No Way Home? Yeah. That was good. Uh, Miss Marvel, I thought. the Out of the series, Miss Marvel, Loki, WandaVision, those are great. But like absolute bang bangs, like bangerangers. Maybe Loki. Things that would that we would keep like one hundred percent. Yeah, Loki has to stay. Loki stays. The ones we mentioned, yeah, they have to stay. I mean, like they they make sense. Like we could get rid of Thor. I could, I said we would definitely say get rid of fucking Moon Knight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will just say though, like I I think Moon Knight should have had more of this vibe in the sense that it should have been more horror oriented. I would have liked Moon Knight more if they went in that direction. I don't know if that would have changed anything. I would have liked Moon Knight more if they did anything differently. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> But you know, like, not that it has to be black and white or anything, but if it was like Moon Knight hunting like a monster or something, that would have or been. Or Moon Knight noir. Yeah, something like that. Or exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that would be cool. But yeah, see, like you said. Do taxi driver, been. but like with Moon Knight. <laughs> yeah. Jake Lockley. Yeah. F.H. Yeah, <laughs> F.H. <laughs> Me as Moon Knight. Yeah. Oh, shit. You definitely do better than. Oscar Isaac. Yeah. Hey, I'm Moon Knight. <laughs> that's, his name of that's my that's my what's his thug version called? <laughs> like when he just has the suit and the gloves and everything? Mm. Mr. Knight. Mr. Knight, yeah, it's my Mr. Knight. You said that's the taxi driver one, right? No. That's uh, the um that's the one you hated. The British the one. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, fuck him. I already forgot his name. <laughs> Dude, yeah, fuck them all. Who yeah, cares? Fuck all the Moon Knights. <laughs> yeah. They're all dumb. Dude, but the voice of Moon of Conchu in Moon Knight, F. Murray Abraham. He's in the new White Lotus uh, season. Nice. I so, saw that. Pretty pun. Um, that show is fire. So I'm definitely fire. Like, hey, your boy Michael Imperioli is in it. Hey, Christopher yeah. Imperioli. Shout out. Oh, represent. Who every time he posts a picture, he's never smiling and he just looks like he's having the worst time of his life, no matter where he is or what he's doing. Have you, if you follow him I on he's Instagram, he's just like a real, he's I just, do. Like, I think he's just like an artistic kind of guy, you know? <laughs> I guess, yeah. He sure. seems like he's nothing like Christopher, which is sweet. Like, no, no, no. Just like, he's really not. He's super, once the same like James Gillespie, just like soft spoken, whatever. Yeah. He's a chill dude. So, how many peasies? Hmm. This is a tough one. <laughs> Is it is it a perfect thing? I mean, I don't really have any. I'm not giving it a six. But I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm not giving, giving it a six. six you know, it's no Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Yeah. Mortal Kombat is better than, <laughs> in my opinion. Oh, I for sure. Kombat. Yeah, dude. I'm excited I would re- to see the second one. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely doing an episode on yeah. it. Mortal Kombat two before Werewolf by Night two. That's for sure. <laughs> dude, we're definitely one, doing dude. an episode of the second Mortal Kombat. Oh, oh for yeah, sure. For sure. Dude, we should actually, since we've talked about doing it, whenever it does come out, we should try to watch it together and like Mystery Science Ooh. Theater that shit. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Through that, watch. You know what we're talking about. If you're a real one, you do. So. uh yeah, so my biggest beefs, the fighting, the villain. Once again, toxic motherhood. Is that motherhood? Yes, you right. see once again, I'm just toxic saying, motherhood. dude, toxic yeah. moms are the true villain of Phase 4, Phase 5, MCU. <laughs> dude, we're, we're going to find out. Sopranos. Uh, we're going to yeah. find, find out Kang's mom was just the worst, and that's yeah, what exactly. led to this whole fucking multiverse saga. <laughs> yeah. The gang's mom, dude. Wanda, we've Wanda has been a terrible mom. Like shit, she's crazy. We already know when Blade comes around. You know, maybe his mom wasn't so. Oh, that's good. true. <laughs> if we're going off the OG Blade story, which dude, I was talking to someone the other day, and they said they've never seen Blade with Wesley Snipes. That's insane. That's crazy. People who haven't seen movies, the worst. <laughs> 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 but you guys heard Blade lost Blade lost his director. It's on it's gonna be on hiatus now. Like they need to figure they out what's pushed the fuck it back doing. a year. They pushed yeah. it back a year, right? What yeah. happened with the director? Um I he think he just no dropped out. Jose. It's like fuck this. He's like, I'm out. He dude. said I it's not worth the best money I'll ever make. For some people it's not. Yeah. No, I mean for real. I'm not I was like joking, but also no, not at all. what he said, yeah. I mean, it's a reality. It's like, fuck, like you make a lot of money, but some of that creativity, except for Love and Thunder, of course, that had too much Taika in it. And I was like, yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But I think Love and Thunder might have been one of the worst things in phase four. For sure. It might have been one of the worst things in the whole Marvel universe. Oh, I mean, that's for sure. Of course. Yeah. And a lot of people really liked it. They're like, no. It makes me really like, not like I'm done with Thor. Like, let's end his character arc. Yeah, like how much more could you do? I don't need to see another Thor movie. I don't need to see, yeah, yeah. I don't need to see another Thor movie. I'm fine right. with him being in Avengers and other shit, but I'm done seeing his solo adventures. Yeah, like I think it's so different. Where like in the comics, it doesn't matter. A character could go on for decades, and it, it's whatever. But movies and 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 now TV is different. Like it's just gonna be who's the actor behind it. Like we all like Tom Hiddleston and Loki, so we could just see him do other shit because he's exactly he's, he's, he's gonna kill it every time. Not that Chris Hemsworth is terrible, but there's not much more you could really do with Thor. They've you know? just himbo fight him too much. Yeah, it's just like what's going on anymore. Yeah. You know? Also, dude, it would be sweet if like they eventually just like dude, let's give Loki and Thor. A show together and then go on adventures and fuck shit up that i could do see okay there's one way to do it right exactly i don't know if thor on his own not chris hemsworth as an actor but thor on his own can carry like his you know what i mean like it's he works better with other people i just don't want taika making another marvel movie yeah i'm all good on that too (laughs) taika you're banned i'm giving it five joe peasies because i really enjoyed it a lot but it doesn't deserve a six I think I, I was actually going to say 5.2. 0.2. 0.2. 
<laughs> Wait, what's the mathematical breakdown? With the point? Yeah, break this one down. Uh, it's okay. like it because we've all given points before, but there's no reason to. <laughs> so the point two, uh, basically, fight like scenes? fight scenes and the mom not being a cool enough villain. Uh, like she just like could have been more and just like evil witch woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. She was a generic evil witch woman. Um, That's all she was. She was no uh, Agatha, let me tell you. Yeah. Facts. It was awesome watching her get roasted by uh, Man Thing. And that's where the point two comes back. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) Made sense to me. I'm giving it a five just because I really did like it a lot. Like, it was just refreshing. I would watch it again. And uh, it just wasn't perfect, but it was like the. One of the best things Marvel's has done in a while, so I'm gonna give it a solid five. My yay. Nice. Yeah, no, I think a five I think a five is fair. I like five too. Yeah. Fair five. Fair five. <laughs> go watch it. It's 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 October. It's I do recommend it. It's spooky. Yeah. And it's spooky season. Speaking of which. It's if, what's spookier this or Doctor Strange Two? Ooh. This was like very like old film noir spooky. Yeah. Doctor Strange 2 was was spooky, but still like... It was like Evil Dead. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when she's climbing out the water, she's all crooked and like putting herself back together like the fucking well girl, you know? Yeah. Or the ring, whatever. Like, yeah, that shit was creepy, so... Yeah. Different styles of creep. Yeah, this was more like, yeah, like when he became the werewolf at first, like it's he's kind of in the shadows. You don't really get a clear shot of what he looks like yet. And like when he's like tearing people up at first, you know, it's it's also in the shadows, but you know he's fucking shit up. Like, dude, the blood on the camera was so yeah. cool. Yeah, that was cool. It's not like, again, that Marvel's doing anything innovative with that. It's just different and different enough from the other stuff that we've done. That we've done, that they've done, <laughs> that we've done, that we <laughs> masterminded behind yeah. the scenes. Dude, I promise you, man. If I was in charge, I would not be putting out some of the shit they put out. No. That being said, it never doesn't make them money. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's always a W for them. That's for sure. Yeah, that's why they're constantly churning out shit. Shit. Ooh, do we, oh, there's a timer now. It's yeah. it ten minutes. Nice. That's yeah. Cool. Oh, the wolves are coming out in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, spooky season. <laughs> yeah. A better wolf. Set Ooh, are you guys doing out. anything cool for Halloween? As of right now, no, but I'm open to it. What are you doing? I'm uh one night dress up and who yeah. are you dressing up as? I got yeah. two different nights. One nice. night I'm going to one, two, three for like a punk show type thing. Nice. And the entire one, two, three staff, me included, are all gonna be Mario characters. Nice. I'm cool. gonna finally be Wario. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna tuck my hair up into my hat, you know? Yeah. Um, and then uh, on Tuesday, I'm going to go insane. I'm going to wear jean shorts and that's it. I'm going to paint my body yellow and wear yellow ears and just be Jake the dog. <laughs> oh, from uh, Adventure, Adventure Time. time. Nice. And as soon as you said that, Kevin's like, yeah, here it comes. <laughs> that's cool. showing whole. OK, so who, what are you guys going to be? I don't know. As of right now, I'm I, truly. I know. Uh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> do you do you ever dress up, Anthony? Um, if I like in the past, like when I was living in the Bronx, I would you know try to have part. <laughs> Kevin's like staring right at it. holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like staring this time. Um, like I would have parties in the uh, in the basement, but um, yeah, and I would dress up. But uh, I don't know. I haven't done anything in the past few years, so I don't really have any. Uh, like when I was younger, my whole thing was like, I'm going to be a costume that's too soon. Nice. Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> How's that too soon? Did he die? No, no. but he should. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bezos. <laughs> no, it went too soon just because he's still alive. <laughs> Technically speaking, that is too soon. Yeah. <laughs> not, 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 not that soon. 
You could be dead, Jeff Bezos. Ooh, I don't yeah. zombie, be, zombie, Jeff Bezos. I don't want to be any state of alive or dead of Jeff Bezos. <laughs> you could be uh, Eisenberg Luther. Ooh, Eisenberg. What? So hey, Jeff Jeff Eisenberg. Bald, he's giving you bald people. I feel like he's giving you bald, bald people. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I for some reason, the hair is always a big part of mine. Yeah, that's why most Halloween costumes have wigs that go in with the them. sense that I like usually shave my head or something crazy. That's drastic. true. I saw you shave your head at Bonnaroo to be Carl. Oh, yeah. yeah. From Aqua Teen Hunger that, Force. That was That's hilarious. Crazy. That was a fun weekend. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was wild. Because you kept going around. Yeah, you and Jad were like, Nick's or, yeah. or, no, 684 it? got in. You was there <laughs> the whole weekend. <laughs> the whole weekend. That's all you kept doing. <laughs> Dress as Carl, walking around like <laughs> drunk down. And yeah, yeah a, people being like, "What the fuck is happening?" <laughs> 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 the year that uh, Steve Jobs died, I dressed up as him and I like sprayed my hair, like made it look like it was like gray, nice. and I had like the turtleneck, and uh, <laughs> I pulled it off. I was Steve Jobs. Nice Steve Jobs for a day. <laughs> <laughs> the story of Anthony <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, that's it. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Happy also, Halloween. Oh, yeah. Happy. When is this coming out? What are we putting this out? I don't know. Halloween. Let's put it out on Halloween. Yeah. It's spooky. <laughs> we were really spooky this episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Dear God, Satan. What? <laughs> he just does it from time to time. Was that, was that Mephisto? From HQ, by the way. <laughs> oh, Mephisto. I don't know. Mephisto's popping in and out of any. And he might. It might have been him. I, I think. That's the real villain of Phase Four. Is behind the scenes. It's Mephisto. Mephisto, Mephisto, moms. Mm, it adds up. Think yeah, up. do the math. The letter <laughs> M is in both of those words. Yeah. You think MCU fans could comprehend anything more complicated than that? Come on. <laughs> I mean, they like She Hulk. Anyway, good night, folks. It's uh, <laughs> so crazy. Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you're listening to Comics and Chronic, and I'm Jacob H. I'm Cody Cannon. And I'm Anthony Iannaccio. And you can tune in every Thursday to hear new episodes of Comics and Chronic. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, at Comics and Chronic. That's Comics, the letter N, Chronic. We'll see you guys next week. Woo! Peace.